Good day. Welcome to another session of Fog Tutorials. Today we are going to look at partnership accounts. We are starting our series on partnerships. And then we want to look at some fundamental theoretical aspects that relate to the partnership account. Partnership is a very broad topic and we are going to look at it in stages. It's a whole series on its own. But then I'll do my best to try and ignore theories that are more managerial and then focus more on accounting aspects of the partnership. Okay, so a partnership, a partnership business is a business organization that is established by two or more people as we say. They contribute capital together and form a business with the aim of making profit. Now, we are going to look at the accounting arrangement in a partnership business. But before that, let us look at some key um, theoretical aspects of the partnership business. Now, like I said earlier, I want to ignore a lot of theory. The advantages of partnership, the disadvantages, sources of capital, I may not go into that. But then I want to look at some aspects of the partnership agreement. When a partnership business is formed, there is an agreement that is made. Now, before a partnership business is uh, registered, I don't know which country you are watching me from, but what I know is that uh, every country has their rules that bind partnership. Now, in Ghana here, what we do is that you present to the registrar of partnerships your agreements, the agreements of the partnership or the partnership deed. Now, in the agreement, you outline some things out. There are a lot of things that should be contained in the partnership agreement. Now, I'm just going to highlight the key ones that will be used for the purposes of the accounting that we are going to do. Now, we want to look at some key components of the partnership agreement. Now, before the registration of the partnership business, the partnership must agree on some things. The partners must agree on some things. Now, among those things, for the purpose of accounting, is the profit and loss sharing ratio. So, there should be, in the partnership agreement, the ratio that is going to be used to share profits or losses. That is between, this. so if the partners are two or three or more, they should write in the agreement clearly to the registrar of partnerships that we want to share our profits or losses in this manner. And then, secondly, if there is any interest to be paid on capital, so, so interest on capital should also be shown in the partnership agreement. And then, if there is any interest to be charged on drawings. Interest on drawings, if there is any interest to be paid on, uh, to be charged on drawings, that should be stated as well. And then, if there is any partner that should, re should receive a salary. So we, we have the partner salary or, partner salary or partner's remuneration for an active partner should also be stated in the agreement. And so these are some of the things that should be in the partnership agreement. For the purpose of this partnership series, we are going to look at a number of subtopics under the partnership. And so first of all, we are going to look at the final accounts of partnership. That is the first thing we're going to, the first topic I'm going to handle in my next video, the final accounts. the final accounts of partnerships. And then I'm going to look at the changes in partnerships. Changes in, I'm going to look at the changes in partnership. With the changes in partnership, we are going to look at the situation where there is an admission of a partner. So there could be a case where there is an admission of a new partner. So we we'll look at the accounting arrangements for admission of a partner. And then we are also going to look at the accounting arrangement when there is a death of a partner or withdrawal from the partnership business. So death of death or withdrawal of a partner. 
And then we are also going to look at another possible situation where there is amalgamation of partnership business. So where there is an amalgamation of partnerships, where two partnerships want to come together, what are the accounting arrangements for such a circumstance? And then we will also look at dissolution of partnerships. Dissolution of partnerships. When they want to dissolve a partnership business, what are the accounting arrangements? When they want to dissolve the partnership business, what are the accounting arrangements involved? Now, there could be other topics that we are going to look at. We may look at conversion of partnerships into companies and other topics as and when they come. But for now, I'm going to focus on these four for now. And if there is any other aspect of partnership, I may look at it afterwards. And so these are the key areas that we are going to look at for this series that we have begun this partnership series. And so in our next video, we are going to begin with the final account of partnership. That is the next video. And then from there, we will follow through the changes in partnership. So watch out for my next video. And it's going to be final account of partnership. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like I say all the time. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you ring the notification bell because bigger things are about to come your way. All right. See you later. Bye.